Hi, my name is Carol and I am the owner of Crystal Sunshine and this is going to be a collective energy session. Crystal energy session. And I'm going to start out with some Palo Santo and clear the air. Of course, Palo Santo never really lights up, but I live in an RV, so I like to make sure that I don't start the smoke alarm. So Palo Santo it is. Welcome in. I'm cleansing the air. Gotta make sure the energy is good. Hello, welcome in. <clears throat> welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. So how this works is the energy comes from my hands. It's just natural. Oh, and I live in an RV park. Well, staying in an RV park, so you'll probably hear background noises. <laughs> Yeah, the energy comes from my hand. Hi, Marie. And then it goes through as energy does. And it goes to you. And it goes to wherever the energy need is needed. So you may feel a whole bunch of different things. Like tingling or warmth. It just goes to wherever your body needs it. I have done samples for people. When I go to market, basically, I, put, I tell them to put their hand like this, and I put my hand around there, and they feel warm. And then a couple of minutes later, they're like, oh, I felt something. And then it gets tingly. I love it. I love what I can do. So, yeah, that's a little sums up about how my energy works. I didn't even know I could do it until, like, a couple of years ago. Actually, longer than that. Time flies. But yeah, I learned how that I could do this probably about 10 years ago. And I've been doing it all along since my kids were little. And I absolutely enjoy energy work. It is so fun. I love that it helps people. Like... An example is if my husband has a headache, I can put my hands over his head and go over the places that he needs the help with. And within about 10 minutes or so, usually his migraines are almost gone. I love that. So if any of you watching would like help with anything, let me know and I'll help you. I'll send a little love and light your way. We should probably get on with the crystals, though, I would imagine. First, let's do some selenite. And I will be, if you've missed any of this, I did start, hey, how are you, Erica? If you have missed a little bit of this, I will be, re I will be posting this on YouTube. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Thank you. So yeah, I will be posting the recap on YouTube if you've missed any of this. 
Thank you. Let's see here. Someone said something. My neck is hurting a little. Well, let's see. What have I got here? Amethyst is really good for neck pain. It's one of the next to clear, uh, next to clear quartz. It is one of the most powerful healers. So let's get some of that neck issue going. When I'm breathing, it empowers the energy to amplify. It's called quantum breathing. So when you see me breathing like that, it's amplifying the energies. along with the rest of this session. Does anyone have a favorite stone? Oh, you're welcome. Does anyone have a favorite stone? And how's your day gone? So, TikTok loves, likes, comments, and all that. So in order to get other people who may want some energy uh, cleansing, you know, liking would be great, commenting, you know, all the fun things. But yes, if you like a favorite stone, crystal, many verbiages, many different things, go ahead and drop a comment. Or just an emoji. Let's get some people attracted to this energy so that... Oh, thank you. Hi, Myra. Fluorite. I got fluorite. Oh, thank you for saying that's awesome. This is one of my favorite pieces of fluorite. Fluorite's a very good healer. It also promotes when you're lost for words. It helps you with communication. It's also for the throat chakra and the heart chakra. It's actually just an amazing stone uh, crystal altogether. And thank you for the follow. Thank you. Yeah, fluoride's one of those amazing healers. As I was saying before, when you see me breathing, the energy that comes from my hand is amplified and it goes to the person of whom that needs the energy. And you could feel a tingling, you could feel warmth. Everyone feels a little different and there's no right or wrong. Thank you for the sharing the live. Appreciate that. So we're going to start with the root chakra. And the root chakra is in your bottom area. Thank you for the follow. Labradorite. I love this one. Look at that flash. Love Labradorite. It's so pretty. It's a very protective stone. Thank you for all the likes, I appreciate that. Thank you for the shares, thank you for the follows, I appreciate that. And I will be posting, none of your information ever shows. Um, I will be, be posting this on YouTube. Oh, this is working 
I apologize for burping, but that's my signal. That someone's definitely getting some help. But yeah, I do the replay on um, YouTube. And then the same name on YouTube as I am here, Crystals and Chai. Thank you. So let's get rid of some of that negative energy in your root chakra. Your root chakra is on the is in your um, bum area. It's on, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you're feeling. Are you feeling tingling? Are you feeling warm? How are you feeling this? What is your body reacting like? Oh, wonderful. Oh, and the reason I sometimes have music playing, but the last time I put music on during one of these lives and I posted it to YouTube, it said there was a copyright infringement. I'm feeling drained, no motivation. Oh, oh good. Well, hopefully after this, you'll feel much better. So I'm going to be calling this my ASMR because I've been told that my voice is very soothing. No, I didn't say that. I've been told that. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you feel better, Marie. That's awesome. Another thing that really helps with healing that I've really learned a lot lately is gratitude. I'm so very thankful that you're all here. And you're in my life. And you're getting and you're, you're feeling better. And this is helping you. I'm grateful for my abilities. I'm just grateful. And yes, I do stay in an RV park. <laughs> if you can hear that. <laughs> Some people, the, the shades are a giveaway. I'm a full-time fifth wheeler and I love it. Besides the point. But you'll hear noises. on to the sacral chakra which is just above your root chakra in your tummy area this is orange carnelian actually i could probably do a bigger orange carnelian let's do a bigger orange carnelian it doesn't matter it's all the same but this is one of my favorite towers look at that coloration one of my favorite Thank you. This is my go-to for my own energy healing. Yes. If you are an energy healer, you can do your own energy work. And I do my own energy work. And this one is my go-to. I hold it and I just put all that excess energy into it. And then it goes into the universe. For the follow. Boy, my hands are tingling. Whew. The energy comes from here and goes through the screen to wherever it's needed. And each stone has its own vibration and because each of your chakras has like a coloration like the sacral chakra is basically a deep orange and it gets brighter orange as it's being cleansed i don't see them i feel 
So if I'm with a if I'm with a client and my my sessions are virtual, and I feel over it, I can generally tell which chakra needs the most cleansing, and I grab the color that coincides with it, and I work that energy. It is amazing. I love the feeling of being able to help. Let's get that energy out. Quantum breathing helps magnify the energy. Thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I love the work I do. I just do. The ability to help people brings me a lot of gratitude. And if you want to see the full episode, you can go over to YouTube where I'll be reposting this. Does anyone need any extra help with anything? Do you have a favorite stone that you go to? I may or may not have it, but I can try. So next, I'm going to do citrine, which is the solar plexus chakra, which is just where do you recommend? What do you mean by where do I recommend? Um, like the energy, because that's very individual. Can you please clarify for me? But this is citrine, and I call it the sunny chakra, solar plexus, because... Oh, um, metaphysical shops will have them. Um... Yeah, and I'm going to be doing that in a, couple, in a little bit, so I'll definitely get on to that. Um, I will go into a crystal shop, and I will just close my eyes within reason. If I have my husband with me, he knows what to do, and I'll just point. <laughs> but generally, I just kind of feel, let the energy guide me to which stone... I need at that particular time and that's how I get my stones also I will go on a TikTok live I have a couple of people that I follow Kiki's crystals is one of them I get a lot of my stuff from her uh, yeah Kiki's crystals yeah so if I'm ordering them, sometimes I'll order them from Etsy. I will look them up on Google or however you search. And I will make sure that they are reputable. I think hematite's a really good blocking stone. It shoves away the negative. Hematite's pretty healing, and so is Labradorite. Actually, you... Sorry, I don't mean to take notes, but you guys have given me a few questions that I think I may just go ahead and do videos about. And I always have pen and paper by me when I do these things because I get messages from I'm an intuitive healer and also people who are talking about it. Term yeah, tourmaline's also a really good one. Yeah, tourmaline is also where I get some of mine. Do I have any tourmaline? I do have some tourmaline. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is tourmaline. And also, sending out love to someone, even though you don't want them to be around you, can also, they say that you get further with honey than you do with vinegar. Well, that's also true with energy healing and repelling people. If you send out that love of, okay, so I have some rose quartz right here. I don't want that person in my life anymore, but I'm sending them love and light energy, even though I don't want them, for them to heal. So you're blocking their energy, but you're also sending them healing energy, if that makes sense. And you're very welcome. I try to be positive. <laughs> and believe me, I've had plenty of reason not to be. But repelling can only go so far. If you don't have love in your heart, you don't have much of anything. Even if you've been hurt beyond, beyond measure, which I have been. Yeah. Find the love to show someone else even if you don't really care for them. Because then you get positive energy back to yourself. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I try. <laughs> being directed to pull some of the energy out. So let's do that. Oh, and I'm getting the burps. So that also means it's working. <laughs> okay. Sounds like, oh, I'm sorry. I hit my screen. Water break. Because you got to stay hydrated. Oh, and those of you who have been here all this time, which I really do appreciate, make sure you're drinking your water because all the all the energy work that I'm doing, um, I try to do them every Monday. It depends on my work schedule because as much as I love doing this, okay, so I'm not asking anybody, but I have never been, like, I have a, how do I say this nice without sounding... I've never really been tipped for any of this, so I work a part-time job to help support myself. So, thank you. So, it just depends on my part-time job. I've, lately, I've been having my Mondays off, and generally, that's for some reason, that's just when I do them. It's every Monday. But, yeah, I'm not asking. It would be nice, but I have a tip jar. You know where the link is. Anywho, enough said. Sorry. Anywho, but, yeah. I don't like to sound tacky, but it's when I'm not working on Mondays. <laughs> and thank you, Marie, for that. I appreciate it. Um, in my link tree, and if I say too much about it, I think that they lower the views on here because that's just how TikTok works. Yeah. I already have some comments. So it's in the link in my smile. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <laughs> TikTok is a fickle thing. But yeah. Energy clients would be great too. One on one. And they're always virtual. I am, don't. I live in an RV. I have no place to do energy work. But they're all virtual. So the, that's the other thing. If you want to schedule a session, that's also the same place where that is. But I just lowered my um, prices to $99 a session. Okay, so 
Where am I at next? Oh, I am at the heart chakra, which is the heart chakra. Which is turquoise. African turquoise. Isn't she pretty? I love turquoise. It's some another very how powerful spiritual crystal. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, um, I love it. It's pretty. But it's for the heart chakra this time. Sometimes I do malachite. But I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Because I have... Malachite. Look at that striping. I love malachite. It's just pretty. I love all kinds of stones. And I have my little stone box here. <laughs> but yeah. If anyone is interested in a session, a one-on-one -on -one session, the link is in my smile. <laughs> you got to do trick words. <laughs> Does anyone else have a favorite stone they want me to use? Or anything they want me to work on? The heart chakra is one of the most powerful chakras it actually does things for the upper and the lower chakras and it is recorded on medical equipment i think it's the ekg but don't quote me um biggest manifester that's why i was saying if you have a lot of love in your heart and you really center on that it is such a manifester. Hey, welcome in. Yeah. Yeah, we all do. Hi, Janessa. How are you? Yeah, I have rhodonite, too. It's an interesting shape. But I have rhodonite. I got this when I ordered something. It was like a little gift. Kinds of different things, but yeah, um, we're working on the heart chakra right now, Janessa. Thank you for being here. And um, if you want to watch any of the recap, I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube. But yeah, let's see if we can work on some of the heart chakra now. Get that, rid of some of that Indian energy that no longer serves you. The heart chakra is, like I said, one of the most powerful chakras in the chakra system. It's like an energy field around you. It is such a powerful manifester because one of the biggest manifestors is love. When you have gratitude in your heart and you have love and you just focus on that. And I had a, a talk with my one of the beloved um, family members and she reminded me of that today because I was just really been worried a lot lately and I have to remember to just let go and a big blue stone and a I'm not sure how to send a picture through what you can do if you make if you make TikTok videos you can take a pic you can take a picture of it and then I'll follow you back. I've been worried about that. Yeah I have to. I've been trying not to. Um, yeah, tag me. If, um, tag me and then let me know and I will follow you back once I, um, I will follow you back. Let's see once. 
your name. Oh, that is your name. That's an interesting name. I didn't even know that they could do that with it for a name. Interesting. Yeah, um... Yeah, I see, um, Alicia on there. Thank you. So, I've also been reading a book by Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, where just being in the present moment and not worrying so much, not worrying about what's ahead, but just... Being in the present moment is also very powerful as well. So let's see here. Um, I believe that, let's see, who was it again? Uh, going through these, because someone said something about a blue, my, something blue for the throat chakra. Okay. Oh, thank you. I hope that um, you're getting caught up on that, Janessa. Thank you for being here. So, aquamarine is for the throat chakra. It's supposed to be a very calming stone crystal. Some things are still, you know, we all have our verbiage. I call everything a crystal, hence my name. Well, my name's Carol, but... My business name, Crystals and Chai. I love, I just like calling them crystals because, I don't know, crystals and fun name. <laughs> so this is for the throat chakra. Your throat chakra is about your voice. It's about communication. And I think someone said something about lapis lazuli. So, um, where did I put my lapis at? Here's some lapis. Oh, thank you. So this is my lapis. And this is aquamarine, but lapis also helps for the thyroid. It's about throats. It's about, yeah, I, yeah. So I guess I could do a little bit of this. So this is the one that I do tapping with. I wasn't going to tap tonight, but maybe some of y'all need it. I'm being called to tap. So just for a couple, a little bit. Thank you. I bought it at a stone store. I do tapping as well. I just haven't done it for a while and I have my little nails on. So yeah, I have tapping videos on here, but I also have tapping videos on YouTube as well. I do a lot more of the longer ones on YouTube. I do the shorts here. I'll do this just for about a minute or so. Little ASMR for you. But this is also for the heart, for heart. This is also for the throat chakra right here. Lapis is good for the thyroid. It's good for voicing, giving you voice. And aquamarine is for calming, giving you calmness, bringing um, serenity, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, we all need to find our voice. It's like I said in a um, video earlier that I reposted. The power of saying no without explanation. Your throat chakra needs to have balance and be cleansed. But the power of saying no without explanation, without talking, you know, telling somebody why. I mean, obviously, there's sometimes when you have to give a reason. Sometimes, but not all the time. So you just have to find that power within yourself to say, no, 
And I don't owe you anything. It's very liberating. <laughs> so Aquamarine. But I had a video from, I think it was 22 or 23 that I posted not that long ago. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the follow. Oh, it even matches my nails. Glamour made. <laughs> These are press-on nails. The Glamour made. I do glue on the outside of them and then I do the sticky part in the middle and then I press on it and then I have my glue for my nails. <laughs> I don't know. No, is a, you know, that's a very, oh, no, is a complete, I'm going to write that down. No is a complete sentence. Wise words. Wow, 6.6. 6, wow, thank you. Thank you for the likes. This is awesome. Yeah, there were a few. I didn't. I used to always think I needed an excuse to say no. And once I learned I didn't have to, it also... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you, Misha. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, once I... People were like, oh, you've got a voice. Oh, you've got a backbone. Yes, backbone is really, really helpful sometimes. And now, for the third eye. Amethyst, I am such a sucker for hearts. <laughs> I have another one, but I think it's in my other stone box. Well, I appreciate it. You know, it may sound weird, but because I have nails, I use these. And that way, I, I'm always, this is my husband's, but I'm always using one of these. So, amethyst is so good for anxiety, muscle pain. Yeah, muscle pain. If you put it next to your parts of your body that are sore, the frequencies, every stone has a frequency. You have a headache, anxiety, amethyst is a very powerful heal. You know, I do love my community and I think I have a few other people here part that are new to my community and I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you for being part of my community. I normally there's some other people that are on here too, but Erica, Marie, and a few others, um, Myra, I have and I know I'm um Janessa. There's some who aren't on here on a regular basis, but when they show up, it's amazing. And because there's so much love of community, it brings a lot of beautiful energy to these lives. And I am so appreciative. I just, I love my community. Our community. Our community. There's no my, it's our. Words do make a difference. But I have so much love in my heart from this community. Okay, so we're going to work on your anxiety, your stress. Let's blow that Schmidt out of the water. <laughs> oh, thank you. I try. It's just natural. This is just how I am. But thank you. I, I adore and appreciate you too, Myra. Thank you. Oh, this is working. 
I'm sorry. Don't ask me why spirit decides to um, show me that it was working by burping. I think it's just because if you've ever had an energy cleansing. Sorry, I gotta hydrate again. I don't know why my water bottle makes noise, but it does. Once you have a cleansing, for some reason, the energies go through you. And we'll just say, generally after a session, you use you have to use the facilities. Some people just have a... Never mind, I'm not going to say that I'm alive. <laughs> like I said before, if you, were, if you were here then, I talked to one of a beloved member of my family today and it made all the world a difference. I woke up this morning very stressed out and she reminded me, she said, Carol, just remember, you don't need to be stressed out because everything always works out in amazing ways. It just does. And the power of now tells me to concentrate on the now and not worry about what's going to happen. And that's all part of the energy work, you know. It's all energy work. Are you ready for the crown chakra work? Crown chakra? Because this is one of my favorites. Actually, I think I'm going to use the big one. doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the big one. Clear crystal quartz is the most powerful crystal healer there is. It's such a powerful healer. So we're going to go ahead and do and we're just going to work on your crown chakra, which is where it's right here. This is where spirit comes through. So basically, as you're healing, the energy goes through, the earth energy goes through your root chakra, and the spirit energy goes through your crown chakra, meets there in your heart chakra, and boom! You get all that amazing energy. But this one goes anywhere in your body and it helps so labradorite tourmaline hematite obsidian all those help protect you clear crystal quartz is what helps to heal you Does anyone have anything they want me to work on? I think I've covered most of it, but I can definitely continue a little bit longer. If I have the stone, I'll definitely get it out if you want me to use it. Actually, I think someone said something about road night. Are they still here? Someone asked for road night. Finish with the with the crown chakra first. Oh, wonderful! Okay, thank you for letting me know. is to help you with your crown chakra. Crown chakra, so your third eye is basically yourself. It's a mirror of yourself. Your crown chakra is where spirit talks with you and gives you your intuition. Some people can hear it. For me, it's not hearing, it's word impressions. I every now and then get word impressions. If someone has, needs to hear something, like, um, if I'm talking with my husband and say some, his, his mom recently passed, and his dad passed right when we started dating, which was like 15, 16 years ago, and when his dad talks, 
I'll hear some of it, but he can't. But that's, that's where the crown chakra comes in. That's where the messages come in. Is your crown chakra. So let's do some road night. Road night is for your heart as well. It may not be green, which is also the color of your heart chakra, but it's pink. And pink is love and heart chakra. Kind of like rose quartz. These are both for your heart chakra as well, because like I said before, thank you for the follow. Like I said before, your heart is about love. So in the color field, it's green, but in all aspects, it's pink too. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, this is road night and it's definitely a really good heart chakra. And even I don't know about all the stones, and I don't know that much about road night except for it is for the heart chakra. I'm still learning. I mean, you could be studying stones for 10 years and you wouldn't know all about it. And I've only been doing it for about four years. So I've got the basics down, but I don't know about all of them. <laughs> Working on it, but I never plan on retiring from what I do. So I've got a, <laughs> I'll be 53 this year, so I've got plenty of time to learn. <sighs> and I love what I do. I hope you're enjoying that road night energy. Thank you for the likes thank you for the follows i will be trying to do these every monday i think i have monday off too thank you yeah um and if any of you are interested in a session you know if i could do sessions on a regular basis i wouldn't need my part-time job and that is actually my goal actually my goal is to have a plot of land where I can, people come to see me and I can do energy sessions in person. But if I had regular energy clients, virtual clients who did regular meetings, I wouldn't need my part-time job. And that is what I am manifesting. Oh, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. That's wonderful. And I appreciate you trying to get me to that. Oh, that, that is a beautiful goal, and I appreciate that. Um, so I'm going to be ending this, um, thank you, in a couple of minutes. And I don't ever usually ask for this, but she, Alicia's got a goal that she wants to get me to 10000 So can y'all help her out? Because... I try not to make these very long because I do post these to YouTube. But just froze a little bit. Oops. So I do try to put these. If the longer they are, the less likely on YouTube they're going to watch it all the way through. So if you guys could help her, if y'all could help her out, that would be great. Because I try to keep these to less than 50 minutes. And we're at 645, which means it's going to be about that. I don't normally ask, but you've been so supportive. I want to give you one of your wishes that you've been trying to do. And I don't want that to be in vain because I know how hard you've been trying. And I thank you. But yeah, if I had regular, regular energy clients on a regular basis, I wouldn't need my part-time job. And it would also help me get to my goal of having my land where I could um, have energy conferences so we want to buy land and I want to have a building and I want to have a land where I can have like a big place where everyone as long as they're respectful they're and loving they're welcome and they can 
like rent out different places it would basically pay for itself but i'd have a community where there's a shop in front where people can the community can get together and sell soaps and tarot and witchy stuff because all that and they can um do like jewelry i make energy jewelry the stuff that i make is energy jewelry like um this is one earring oh my gosh you guys are amazing that is phenomenal thank you wow that's impressive thank you <laughs> but yeah i like i made these earrings i make energy infused jewelry and i would love to make i make it in you know if you where were you? I don't know. That's one of the reasons why we have our fifth wheel, so that we can travel and find our land. As soon as I know, I'll be posting it. Well, I just love to be genuinely nice. Don't get me wrong. I have another side if people piss me off. <laughs> I'm Gen X. That's how I am. I'm love... Okay, what's the saying? I'm love light sweet and peace love and light and a little go yourself that's me in a nutshell <laughs> yes i have boundaries i've learned that through my energy work but yeah my ultimate goal is to have a place where anyone is welcome any pronouns whatever i have a safe space for everyone like, if any at any time we'd had anybody negative, blocked, or moved, done. Oh, that's awesome. But thank you, yeah. And that way, I can do energy sessions in person. But for now, they're virtual. And all the energy that you have felt here in this session, that's what it's about. They're $99. They last for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the person. And yeah. Email me for a schedule and appointment. I'm happy with that. I'm working around my schedule. Like I said, if I have regular sessions, I won't need my part-time job anymore. And I can do what I love and I'd be just amazing. I have goals. So for right now, I'm going to say thank you. I cannot. You guys are freaking amazing. You made it to... What a goal. You're fantastic. You're awesome. And I am so so appreciative thank you I appreciate each one of you <laughs> you know you're all halfway there but um yeah that's my goal so I'm just gonna say it. if you guys enjoyed this session and you want to my tip jar is in the shmayo. I don't normally ask, but it had, that's one of the reasons I'm stressed. Do you want to do that? I said, you know, oh, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. I Thank you very much. I appreciate that, too. I'm glad to see you, and thank you. I'm lovely to meet you. And, yeah, I will get my, um, I'll get this onto the YouTube, so anybody who's missed part of the session can do that. Okay, well, we are almost at, we're almost at that 11 mark. Let's see if we can do that to make it to our next goal. And then I'm going to call this a night. But thank you. You're wonderful. I appreciate each one of you. You know what? I can do it too. Yeah, I didn't know you could like your own life until I started doing it. We did it! Thank you. <sighs> okay, so since this is going on YouTube, I'm going to end it with this. For products and services, my link is in the description box below. And if you'd like a session, just go ahead and email me at crystalsunshinehealing at gmail.com. And until next time, thank you for your time. Love and light. Carol. With crystals and chai. Love you.